The Atlanta Falcons 2022 opponents and what I think about them. First up, preseason Lions. New York Jets, come on now. The Kitty Cat Jaguars. The N.O. Aints, game one. Come on now. This guy. <laughs> oh, run, little crab. Run and hide. Dang, he ate you instead of the W's. The L.A. No Salary Cap Rams. I mean, okay. Yeah. Seattle Seahawks. Really? Enough said. The Cleveland Browns. I'll let their fans talk. We don't even expect you to be good. We just want you to be watchable. Do you have any idea how low our expectations are? We don't expect you to win the Super Bowl. We just want you to look better than a Division Three high school team. And listen, I know that there are way more important things in life than football, but you are supposed to be our pleasant distraction from those things. But all we do is pay you money to put us in a bad mood every week. You are a factory of sadness! I'll see you Sunday. Tampa Bay Yucks. Uh, Captain James Hook as Tom Brady. He hears that clock ticking. <laughs> yeah. This is the year where his uh, time runs out. The old Wackashan 49ers. The Ben Gals. <laughs> the Meow Meow Panthers. The Chargers? The Chicago Bears. Coming. Good thing I brought my grappling hook. Boy, I can't wait to drive at a safe speed in this baby. But first, want some water? I always try to stay hydrated before every mission. Whoa! The Commanders. <laughs> What are you going to call him for? Hey, you just tell him how I told you you had to do it. All right, okay. All right. Okay, here's any left. Tell him to come to me. The Pickett Steelers. The Nevermore Ravens. And the Cardinals. A T L G A faithful, my people. I'm D. Douglas Carter back on the scene doing my thing, and I just want to say I appreciate you and the work that you do. Here's my predictions for the Atlanta Falcons 2022 regular season. Um, this is what I see happening. No, week one, we stomp a good old uh, Louisiana mud hole in the Aints, and we win that game. 
Then we got the uh, LA Rams. We'll take an L on that one. Um, let's see, Seattle Seahawks. We're gonna win that game. Cleveland, it's a 50-50 game, but um, I say we, we take an L there. Um, but without Deshaun Watson, it could be a, a win, and it's at home. So <clears throat> Tampa Bay, first meeting, we take an L there. San Francisco, um, I say we get the win there. Uh, Cincinnati, uh, I say we take an L on that one. Carolina, we got a win there. LA Chargers, another 50-50 game to me, but I'll give us an L right there. Carolina, I said we sweep the Panthers. Uh, that's a win right there. Chicago, that's a definite win right there. Uh, Washington, I say we got another win. Then we got Pittsburgh, 50-50 game to me. Right here, I'm gonna give us a win. So we went on a nice little winning streak, which would be good towards the end of the season. Then after that Pittsburgh game, we got a bye. And then we played New Orleans. I say we split with them, uh, take an L there. Baltimore, I think we take an L there. Arizona, I think we get a win there. And then the last game, I think we split with Tampa Bay and we get a win there. That's my prediction. That would leave us at 10 and seven. And I think we're getting in the playoffs with that. Um, best case scenario, maybe we catch one of those 50-50 games or something. I could see us shocking everybody and going 11 and six, but um, that might be a little bit too rich because we do have a young team. Worst case scenario, I see us going six and 11. Um, but I think we're still gonna do a lot better than what people think. So my prediction is 10 and seven. That was the run through. And uh, I know it's been a second. I hope everybody's uh, doing good. Hope everybody's staying blessed. I hope everybody has a safe 4th of July weekend. And um, I'll check in with y'all later. Another video coming soon. Uh, end this video like I end all my videos. Thank God works, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your night or day. One.